Welcome back, everyone. This is Super Stud Brother playing Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword. We have just arrived on the surface in a place called the Sealed Grounds. And we have just witnessed some odd creature that we've been having nightmares about. Alright, I think what we need to do is go down there. And we can jump right off. Like that. Press B! To catch yourself with the cell so, uh, 50 way of getting down. Getting up is another matter entirely, though. Young one. Child of destiny descended from the sky. Raise the sword of the gods skyward. Take aim. Master Link, I'm sensing a change in the area that was triggered by your Skyward Strike. I have also detected an aura that correlates closely to your cell cloth. I surmise this aura belongs to Zelda. I can lead you in the direction of this aura through a process known as Gaussian. Would you like me to explain this process to you? Nah, I know how it works. Understood, Master. This dowsing process... Hold down C and select Zelda as your dowsing target, then point in the direction you wish to search. Okay, this is how it works. You hold down C, aim your remote at where you want to douse, or what you want to douse, in this case Zelda. And if it blinks faster and glows brighter, that means that it's close. In this case, that Zelda is close. So that... Zelda is over in that direction, it looks like. Okay, we can ride these things. Woohoo! Just like that. Woohoo! And still up. And up. And up. And there we are. Alright. Time to be sitting, aren't you sore? You stand under the roof of the sealed temple, a place built by the goddess an eternity ago. Your arrival here was predestined many, many years ago. That's a long time to be predestined. The spirit maiden you seek arrived here shortly before you, 
descending to this land in a shower of light. There's no doubting it. The gears of fate have begun to turn. Yet all is not as it should be. The spirit maiden was not meant to reach this land in the manner she did. I feel an evil power working in the shadows. It moves to warp the destiny of which you two are a part. Link, you are concerned for the spirit maiden and seek her whereabouts, yes? That is understandable, but for now, you must focus on moving forward. That girl has her own purpose she must pursue, as do you. She set out for Farron Woods to discover that destiny for herself, and you must follow. Show me your map. Okay. The X upon your map marks the path that will lead you to Farron Woods. You will be traveling an unfamiliar land. Many monsters have settled here, and a map may not prove guidance enough for your journey. And so I will guide you the p give you the power to create beacons. When a beacon is marked on your map, a column of light will stand at that location. It will act as your waypoint from afar. Point at the X and press C to place a beacon. Alright, so press C. Ping. Press A to zoom in closer. Press the beacon there. Good deal. Press B. Though you cannot see it from where we are, a beacon stands outside to guide you. Leave the temple through the front doors and see for yourself. When you no longer have a use for a beacon, you can remove it from your map by pressing C. Use your beacons well, and you will never fear getting lost. Go now. You must head into Fern Woods and chase, da chase after the Spirit Maiden, the one you call Zelda. On your way out, take the contents of that treasure chest within this room. What you find there should prove useful to you on your journey. Magic! You are ready. Leave through the door before you, and head into the woods. I wish you safe travel. Ah. Know that all the questions you have now will be answered in time. For now, Link, go bravely. Thank you, old woman. Okay. This is the treasure box she was talking about, for in it, we get a revitalizing potion! Alright! Alright, just a few quick notes. You notice the shield up in the upper left corner? It's got a bar. Well, that just tells you how much your ability, your shield, or how much your shield can take. Okay, we've got an empty bottle, so I guess we'll scoop it. You caught a fairy! This playful sprite replenishes six of your hearts. If you put it in a bottle and keep it with you, it will come to your aid automatically if you run out of hearts. I love those little guys! Alright. So that shield up there tells you how how long your shield has until it dies. Kind of like how long it takes for you to die with the hearts up there. All that, I guess, now would be a good time to save. So, with that, this is Super Stud Brother. To be continued.